Hi guys, Creative Katie, Karen Virtual here. Welcome to my channel. Today we have four art journal tutorials, all part of the index card a day. This is the last week and the last set of four. So today I'm starting with this lovely Cassandra napkin from Ninny's Napkins. And I'm just figuring out what part of this napkin I want. I love the colors of these delphiniums. And I think this is going to make a perfect addition to this iCAD. So on the background, I did have a gel print there, but I wasn't really feeling it. So I covered it with gesso, which gave it some of this pattern. You can still see the pattern coming through. Then I'm using this stamp. This is called Papillon. And it's a Tim Holes from Sampers Anonymous. And it totally fits fits the vintage vibe and it's going to give some interesting detail and interest to my background. I love, love, love all the, the script and all the details in there. They also have these little butterflies in there and I just thought I'm just going to try to put one here and it's going to show. Now if you watch me you know normally I have very colorful backgrounds and I've kind of gotten into putting the black and white focal images. So with this one, I am doing it in reverse where my background while being texturized and you see some of that pattern coming through from the gel print and then I've stamped. That's pretty much it. Now I'm putting this in the corner and I'm putting some Liquitex matte medium fluid underneath and then on top and that just makes the napkin fade away. It becomes very translucent and I can see the background, all that lovely script from the stamp in there. Grabbing the Harlequin stencil from the Crafters Workshop, I'm adding some modeling paste detailing. And I chose this stencil because I liked how the diamond shape of the Harlequin stencil seemed to work well with the elongated delphinium petals. It just seemed to work together. And that's what I look for. Now I went to my stash of sentiments and this was one that I had in my garden one. Little did I know that I've already used this sentiment in the iCAD challenge. Obviously I love it and it just seemed to fit right here. So please check out my sentiment packs. They are for sale at Ninny's Napkins. <clears throat> You can see what's in every pack. This one I printed out on some sticker paper, adhesive paper. So it's just peel and stick. How easy is that? Using the Stabilo All Pencil just to do some shading around the outside edges. Now the Stabilo All Pencil writes on acrylic paint really easily. And when you activate it, you, you can get some shading effects. And it's a quick, easy way to add that shading to it. The thing you need to worry about or what remember is that it's water soluble. So here I'm putting it on as a final layer after everything is glued down and I'm not going to reactivate it. Outlining the sentiment to make it stand out a little bit more. Then I just wanted to bring out this Harlequin stencil a little bit more. So I'm adding a little bit of shading with this to be Lowell pencil in there. I'm also kind of grunging up that pristine white of the modeling paste that I used here. If you don't have a to be Lowell pencil, you can use a charcoal pencil. You can also use the float acrylic technique, which you often see me using. So this napkin and the stencils, the uh, many six inch stencils, as well as my sentiments can all be found at Ninny's Napkins. There is a link in the description box below and a discount code if you're interested. This Harlequin stencil is one that I've had 
for ages, it is a good basic. It fits any theme. It adds that interesting element to many, many, many pages. So if you're in this process of building your stash, this is one of those to add to the list. I decided not to do any shading around the delphinium, the napkin. I liked it how it was. Have you done the index card a day challenge? It's not too late. Even though it ends at the end of July, you can take the prompts off of Daisy Yellow site and have fun with them. And here is number one for this week. Quick and easy. Now this one I start with a lovely gel print that I've used some, a mark making tool to make. And I already have an iCAD that I've used a similar background, so I wanted to change it up a little bit. So I grabbed my Prussian Blue and this Sunflower Mandela stencil, and I'm stenciling over top of this. And it's going to give me the pattern of the Mandela while preserving some of the background. Do you follow me on Instagram? Go there now and follow me at Creative Katie. Wasn't exactly what I was looking at, and I thought about this taking my fine line applicator and tracing that Mandela stencil in white, but then I'd lose all the pink, and I didn't want to do that. So I darkened this up to get a little bit more contrast whiting out the sides, but you can still see all the marks coming through. Remember, that gel print is just a jumping off point. Now I have this stamp and a recent art journal page that I did, I had stamped out many of these and I had these on my desk. And one of the things that I want to do during the iCAD channel is you use what's on my desk. Use those things that are in the stash. And I thought, oh, I'm going to make these dragonflies dance around this Mandela. So I left them black and white. Using the fluid matte medium, I'm just gluing them down. I grabbed some sentiments from my short and sweet sentiment pack. And again, these had been printed on sticker paper. And I will put a link to some sticker paper that I have sourced from Amazon that work really well and you can colorize them. They're fairly good quality. Uh, I was very happy with them. So I've been testing it out. So I just cut up three words. I've got three dragonflies, and then I cut out three words to dance around this Mandela. Share, celebrate, and treasure. Now I didn't need, there's enough adhesive on there. I didn't need to put some underneath. <clears throat> If you get some of the sticker paper at the dollar store, you may have to add some. It may not stick quite as permanently. But the stuff from Amazon is quite great for sticking. And it's matte. Grab my fine line bottle. I wanted to add a little bit more white to go with all the white that I've used in the focal image. And outlining the sentiments with my black Secura glaze pen. And it just frames them. It's not in your face, but it does make a difference to the final product. And we have two done. And here's a close up of this one. For the next one, I have this gel print again and I'm using this fan flower 
stencil from the crafters workshop this is one of the cake and cookie uh, stencils but don't worry they work equally as well on mixed media pieces they're five, five by five and so if you can find the pattern that you like in the cake and cookie stencils just want it to make that stand out a little bit more so coming back with the second layer now I cut out these stars I'd stamp these stars it comes from this set this is and I'll put a link to it. I did find it online and you can check it out. I stamped these out with black acrylic paint and cut them out and never ended up using them. So I thought I'm going to use them. They're imperfectly stamped. As you can see, some have white spaces, some are darker, but I like that about them. Gluing them down. And here's the newest addition to my stamp collection. I ordered the Tim Holtz Crazy Dogs and I just got it in the mail yeah, and I needed to use it. So I stamped this out on paper, cut around it, giving, leaving a little bit of white. And I thought, ah, oh, that's a perfect backdrop for him. Then I went to my sentiment packs and this comes from my BU sentiment pack and it says, BU, the world will adjust. I've grabbed my Stabilo All pencil and I am going to do some shading around this dog just to make him stand out from the background. That just pushes him forward and pushes things in the back. Now, because I used the matte medium on top of it, it kind of sealed the raw paper. If I don't seal the paper with a good coat of matte medium, it may, if you get some of the Stabilo on there, it will, may stain it or colorize it in a way that you don't like it. So that's a good reason to put that coat of gel medium or matte medium or Mod Podge or whatever you're using. I'm just going into the, the dog and doing a little bit of shading. And I realized that I should have under his ear and around his tail, I should have cut that white off. I didn't realize that was just white space and not part of the dog. And shading around the stars to make them pop as well. Now, if you don't have a Stabilo pencil, as I said, you can use charcoal. You can also use watercolor pencils, or I have ink tense pencils. They would work equally well. And with them, you have other colors and options other than black. You might use a dark blue or a brown if it fits what you have. So here I've realized that I should have cut that out. So I'm kind of darkening it just to push it back a little bit. And then I decide I'm going to come in. And I'm just going to paint it the colors of the background so it looks like I had cut it out. So never fear, you can always go in and tweak things and fix your mistakes. A little shading around the outside edges to frame the page. If you like this crazy dog, stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the button to be notified of upcoming videos because I will definitely be doing several more with the crazy dog stamps. And I decide I'm gonna add a little pop of color. His tongue looks like a heart. So I'm gonna paint that pink just to give it a, that pop of color in the middle, then I painted the nose. And just a little bit in the ears.
I have some pink paint there, so I add a little bit of water, grab my fan brush, and I'm splattering with the pink on there. And it kind of got on the dog a little bit where I didn't like it, so I'm kind of dabbing off a little bit. And I, I'm able to do that again because there's that layer of matte medium that seals the paper. Secure a glaze around the outside. And around the sentiment. I am presently working on a series of things about using sentiments, be they mine or somebody else's digital sentiments. I have the organizing video out and another video on how to resize them from a PDF so that you can increase their usability will be coming out soon. Some white glaze pan. And now we have three. And there's a close up. Loving that one. I love this gel print. The colors work so well. It was just the bright aqua and quinacridone magenta. Now I had this piece of lace that I had colored with acrylic paint. And you may have seen it all through the iCADs. It's been sitting there. And I pulled it out and I put it back. And I pulled it out and I put it back. And today was the day. This is gel medium. And I'm putting a thick layer of it in it. And while it went on white, it does dry completely clear. I'm putting a little bit on top because I want to get this fully adhered to the background. Once it's dry, I'm cutting off the excess. The leftovers go back into my stash. Now I made this doodle flower and this is an upcoming art journal tutorial that you're going to see and I've been playing with that. I thought, you know, I'm going to do another doodle flower, but I want this one to have some script. So I have this Tim Holt set, another new one. Uh, the links will be in the description box. I can't find it right now. And this has dictionary paper. I was a little disappointed because it's reversed. You can't read the words. And I'm just stamping that out, and then I'm going to draw my doodle flower on here. I'm trying to keep it loose, trying not to overthink it. And again, like most things, at, when you start doing something, even something like doodle flowers, beginning it's going to seem very awkward and forced. And then over time, you're just going to get better at it. Now I'm cutting this out. Now I tr did this, I traced it with my Stabilo All Pencil, which when I go to glue this down, of course, it's going to reactivate because it's water soluble. Now I'm okay with that because I don't want to keep this perfectly white, but a better plan may have been to just trace it with pencil glue it down, and then add the Stabilo All Pencil or the line work with a Micron Pan or the Secura Glaze. And now just gluing this down. And if you're very, very observant, you'll notice that I've substituted a, another one. My Stabilo All Pencil got in the wrong place, and I just went and made, created another one. Did you catch it? Oh, the magic of videoing. So instead of brushing, I'm just kind of dabbing the matte medium on top so that I don't get too much smudging. but it is activating it a little bit. And if I get too much, I'm just dabbing with my baby wipe. 
these are the things you have to consider if you are using water soluble, you know, watercolor pencils, ink tense pencils, um, distress crayons. You just need to remember. Went and cut out a sentiment. I from one of my sentiment packs. I can't remember. I think it was sentiment pack number three. Adding a little more scribble line work with the Secura glaze. And outlining the page. Now my background seemed a little bit plain, so I grabbed my Stabilo L pencil. I'm just adding a little bit of shading just to bring out some of that, those squares, which kind of work with the shape in the middle of the doodle flower. And because it's gel printed, they're very imperfect. And I love that. That stencil was, is called Screen View. And it's another good basic stencil that you can use on pretty much any page. I think here I actually didn't. I switched up. I grabbed a indigo blue with my from my ink tents pencils. I wanted to bring up that blue that I have with the um, lace. You can also get the Stabilo All Pencil in blue and brown and white. I just couldn't find mine today. I hope you enjoyed watching me as I create for this index card a day challenge or art journal a day. My four pages per week. Check out the playlist, ICAD 2020. Lots of great techniques and tutorials on how to use your stash included in all those videos. So it's well worth your while. And there is a close up. And there are the last four ICADs for 2020. So all told, I have 36. I will be making a flip through of all of them. And I'm just putting them into my little journal, which is a repurposed happy planner. This one's a mini size, but they make perfect. And you can take out the pages. We'll see you in the next art journal tutorial. Bye for now.